So I'm Richard Chisholm and I'm the director and was the cameraman for the documentary. This is gonna be a model that every state in this country is gonna start using to feed their kids local fresh food. Cafeteria Man's uh, a, a cinema verite documentary, very real film that follows the real activity of a man named Tony Geraci, who was a food activist and chef, and he came to Baltimore to head up the nutrition and food program for the entire city's public school system. And when he arrived, uh, my producer friend, Sheila Kincaid, read a little article about him coming, and, uh, and she and myself and editor David Grossback uh, put together an ad hoc team to make this film that followed Tony's uh, attempts at reforming the school food system, because for three or four or five decades, public school food's been really atrocious. And it's been monopolized by a weird collusion between government and corporations to make the quality mass produced and pretty horrible while people are making money off of it. And as parents, we send our kids to school and think, oh, it's a USDA approved. I'm sure it's fine. But the secret is out of the bag. And Tony's one of Tony's best achievements, I think, and we're part of it with the film as his message, is to sort of pull back the curtain on national food, uh, school food and say, you know, look, this has to, this has to change. It has to be better. I mean, this, by the way, is a story that's going to take 30 years to tell. This is only the first couple of years of this transformation, not just in Baltimore and Memphis, but everywhere. It's all starting up everywhere. You know, you make a documentary film, not because you necessarily want to entertain or make money or whatever you make it because you want social change. You want to make the world better. And so we're like thrilled that the film's done so well at festivals and food conferences and things like that, and nutritionists, medical people like it and parents like it. And now it gets to be, you know, started to run on television, which is very exciting. We hope all of our viewers will tune in and learn more about this important issue that is affecting our children and how we as a community can get involved. Cafeteria Man, airing here on Free Speech TV.